What's up guys and welcome to another awesome episode of Coolest Reptiles from Around the World. Okay, so today we're starting with this guy. Um, so we're doing the coolest reptiles around the world. And we're joined today by our frilled dragon who was actually on our Australian list, right? Yeah. So last week, if you guys seen, we did the top 10 coolest reptiles of Afghanistan, remember? Yep, and today we are doing another coolest. And these are the, and that is one of these ones. Yes. And ones. you would too. Yes, I think they will, but yes. And we do have a lizard in it. Oh, we got a couple lizards. Yep, we have a couple lizards and a couple snakes. Right. So, like we said last week, if you guys seen, we did the 10 coolest reptiles of, remember how to say it, Afghanistan? Afghanistan. Perfect. This week, we are moving on to Papua New Guinea. And when we Papua did the... Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea, that's right. And when we did the research for this one, boy, are these 10 cool. Guess what, guys? I pretended that I have a snake of white by my thing <laughs> with all my candy in it. It has my chest, and we bought, um, what is it called? Um, unicorn. No, unicorn poop. It's unicorn poop. But <laughs> what is it? A marshmallow. It's Marshmallows. It's not actually. <laughs> So this week we're kind of doing things a little differently here in our setup. Um, we didn't print out the actual pages to go over. We're actually going to be looking at them right here from our computer, but remember the boxes go right here, so it's not like you guys are going to see it anyway. All right, Missy, you ready to kick off this list? Yes. Let's do it. So starting off our list at number one is the Argus Monitor, so check him out. Yes. I don't know if you remember this, but in our Savannah Monitor enclosure, or no, in our Savannah Monitor video, we actually talked about the Argus Monitor. And when it comes to an animal that looks like blue from Jurassic World, this is the one, right? Yeah. But look at this guy. Doesn't he look like, have you ever even seen Jurassic World? No. Oh man, I failed as a dad. So we'll definitely be checking out Jurassic World, but this guy looks like the Velociraptor from that movie, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah, you've never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so number two on our list is the blind snake. So look at that thing. That's a snake. What does it look like? A worm to me. It looks like a worm, doesn't it? They really do look like a worm. And people have, these guys actually got spread out around the world because people mistook them for worms. They would be like shipping in and out plants and from different countries and in the soil, they thought they were just worms, but they're actually snakes. Crazy, right? Yeah. And I mean, they only get like 10 to 15 centimeters. That's small. That's smaller than a ringneck snake. Yeah. In sign. Number three is the Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle. So look at that guy. Does that look like a turtle? No. Not really. I mean, it looks like a turtle that got ran over. Well, it's like flat and they've also got like, it's a soft shell. Rather than like a hard shell most turtles have, it's soft. And you know what's kind of sad about these guys is a lot of people eat these. They eat soft shell turtles. Guys, I feel bad for them if they're eating them, right? Yeah. But. And guys, if you see one, don't eat one. Just keep it and be nice and give it water and food. Yeah. So number four on our list is the crocodile skink. So look at this guy. Yes. Um, guys, if you seen, if you see this one, it looks like a chameleon. He kind of does, doesn't he? Yes. But a lot of people actually have them as pets. They're a pretty common pet. That'd be pretty cool to have one of them, wouldn't it? And guys, if you want one of those, I don't know what they are. Uh, we've seen them at reptile shows before, remember? Oh yeah. They kind of look like they have plates rather than like scales, right? Yeah. And guys, if it's creepy, it's not creepy at all. It's cool and they have like all black in their eyes. 
Oh yeah, that kind of looks demonic. And they have an orange thing, like, they have an orange, like, wing around their eye. Still pretty cool. Number five on our list is the Eastern Brown Snake. So look at this guy. He kind of almost looks like a cobra, doesn't he? Yeah. So these guys are native to Papua New Guinea and Australia. And if you've seen our one video on Australia, you know the world's drop for drop most venomous snake, the Taipan, actually lives there. In Australia, they consider this snake more dangerous because they are much more aggressive and they have no problem being in populated areas. So they consider these guys even more dangerous. Than cobra? Than the inland taipan, the world's most venomous snake. <laughs> We're never picking up one of those. No, definitely not. So number six on our list is... I would say the number six. Okay. Number six is the green tree python. So you've seen these before, reptile shows, right? Yeah. I've seen them a few times. Guys, if you see... Um, Guys, these guys are not venomous. You can pick up one. That's right, you can, and a lot of people have them as pets. I think the coolest thing about green tree pythons is as babies, and we'll do the transition in the pictures, they start off like this yellow, orange, or red, and then as they become juveniles, their skin starts to change to like an in-between of those bright colors and green as juveniles. Oh. And then as adults, they become that, that whole green with like the white in them. And I mean, oh. they've got some well, beautiful colors. Well, I always show. Careful. Number seven is the green tree monitor, or they're called the emerald tree monitor. But you know, we know this guy. We're very familiar with him, right? Yeah, we saw him. Guess what, guy? If you see a big one, you'll probably be surprised. And this is just a tiny. So in a couple videos, Dad has mentioned that there's only one monitor that I like more than like the lace monitor. And this is it, the green tree monitor. Just as a little side story. And guys, I... Remember, remember we actually bought one but it turned out to be a scam, and guys, I never got them. Um, and they took our money, guys, and we never got it back. So if you guys run into scams and stuff like that, share it on our Facebook group, and we'll post it out. We're friends on a lot of like reptile pages, and- That one was the best one. It's nasty how many of them are out there, right? Number eight is the loggerhead sea turtle. So Aww, check this guy out. Oh, that's kind of cute. Do you know why they call them loggerhead sea turtles? No. Because their head is so big, it's like disproportionate from the rest of their body. Oh. But we've seen sea turtles before, like the aquarium. Yeah. They are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, guys, if you want to keep one, um, you can't with aquariums. Yeah, and I don't, I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe they are endangered. So you want to be able to own one as a pet anyway, even if you wanted one. But sea turtles get absolutely massive. Huge. Yeah. But he's cool looking, ain't he? <gasps> and look at the babies. Aww. The Little mom, baby turtles. The mom is protecting the babies. Yep. Yeah, she's probably waiting for them out in the ocean. Number nine is the coastal taipan. So if you guys, like we said earlier, there's the inland taipan. These guys are like a very close relative. There's only a few types of Taipan, but he, this is another one. Um, it's he venomous. Oh yeah, they are very venomous. They got some big old fangs, and they're not guys, as venomous as the inland Taipan. Do not pick up one. Yeah, definitely don't. Guys, because we would feel really bad for you. They're probably not as venomous as like the inland Taipan, but I still wouldn't want to get bit by one, right? Yeah, me in number 10. And our coolest reptile of Papua New Guinea is the crocodile monitor. So check out that name, crocodile monitor. They're also called the tree crocodile oh. because they are an incredibly large uh, monitor lizard that they're arboreal as well. 
So Komodo dragons are like the heaviest lizard in the world. These guys have been reported to get even longer than a Komodo dragon. Massive. And I mean, you they are- be big like that. Bigger than that. But I mean, they are an incredibly impressive and massive lizard. And I'll tell you what, if you guys can watch Clint's reptile on the crocodile monitor, and he does like a side-by-side -side comparison of a Komodo dragon's jaws next to the crocodile monitors. And I mean, the crocodile monitor's jaws and teeth makes the Komodo dragon look like a joke. I mean, they could do some serious damage. Serious? Serious damage, like lost fingers, they could slash an artery, God only knows. And guys, that's all for today. But what would be really cool for us is if you guys commented and let us know what reptiles from Papua New Guinea you would have added. Because I'd like to see what other people would pick as their favorites, right? Yeah. Alright guys, so that does it for this week's 10 Coolest. And we'll see you on Saturday for our next weekend video. Bye guys. Bye guys.